Hey guys, Mike from Fortinet Guru here. Um, it's been a very, very long time since I've published a video. Figured it was probably due for, for a new one. Um, a couple of updates. I got a new mic, so hopefully the sound on this will be much better. I've been running through comments and everything from the past eight months to get an idea of what you guys actually want to see videos on. So hopefully we can we can get cranking there. Um, moved into a new house, been busy as mess doing consulting and stuff. So you know, sorry for the for the delays, but we're about to start pumping out videos again. The so one of the main things that people on smaller units notice is that the the packet capture functionality was removed from the GUI on the left dashboard side. Um, never fear, if you're running 5.4 it's still actually there, they just took the link off the navigation. So what you want to do is to actually navigate to the page where you can see your packet capture. You just take everything off except for the ng slash page slash p slash firewall slash sniffer and what this will do is it'll load the packet capture page so just remember this link you know the, the URL of your FortiGate slash ng slash page slash p as in papa slash firewall slash sniffer and it'll take you to the page that used to be linked over here on the side page. So, you know, once you're in here, if you're not very good at the CLI, obviously this is going to be a good way for you to do packet captures and troubleshoot your stuff. See, so from now on, or from this point on, you're actually able to create, you can tell it what interface you want to listen on, maximum number of packets, you can apply filters, you know, things of that nature. So, it'll give you what you need. And then, you know, once you set things up exactly how you want, for example, if I create that packet capture, you know, that's just filtering, you know, interface WAN 1 for that host. And you just click play and it'll start listening. Now, I don't have any traffic going to this, so it shouldn't catch anything except for maybe some broadcast traffic, so. You know, that's how you started out. You know, get good with a GUI. Cool features that they may have hidden on the GUI. Obviously, I'll try to let you guys know. But that'll give you what you need from a uh, from the standpoint of being able to actually dive in and start troubleshooting from the GUI instead of using the CLI. Because I know not everybody's very good at the CLI. So, uh, hit me up in the comments below. Obviously, I'm trying to gather as much information as possible in regards to the to the type of videos you guys want. Because um, I can sit here and I can spout off videos all day long based on what I think you want. And it's just, it's no damn good to you because you have a unique deployment of your Fortinet device or, you know, something like that. So, and I'm big on wanting to provide you guys what you actually need. So, um... And even if it's for another Fortinet device, Fortimail, you know, anything. So uh, thank you for your time. Let me know if you need anything.